Good morning, everybody. I'm going to turn that off because YouTube is very freaky about uh, um, um, music. So, good morning, everybody. So, welcome to my channel with my messy hair. I am actually out of uh, running errands. I went to get dog food for my dogs. It is, what is it? <laughs> it is almost 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I think Wednesday. Wednesday, October 21st. So here I am, um, out, not about, <laughs> just running errands, uh, trying to, let's see, back up, just make sure that I'm not back, I'm not going to back up on anything. All right, so, <clears throat> there you go. All right, so driving. Anyway, oh, let's see. Okay, um, I know I, I drive a big car. I drive a very, very big car. Uh, it's an SUV and I'm very short, but I have that, what they call the Napoleon complex where I drive. I like my big truck. It's, this is not just a temporary, I mean, a regular uh, SUV. It is actually a huge SUV. It is uh, the Range Rover HSE. Has 12, um, 12 valve engine, uh, V12. And <laughs> it is heavy like a tank. Do you know why I drive this big car? Because I have a complex. I have this fear of um you know driving small cars 20 years ago i drove um bmw um convertible and guess what happened what happened was you know i had um an accident where you know a truck actually pushed me all the way under under another truck in front of me and um, I thank God I'm alive but I have um, um, sustained um, some injuries um, on my chest where I develop like huge hematoma on my chest and uh, you know I suffered from that and then back pain and I actually um, in order for me to avoid um, the windshield in front of me I dock so that prevented from the windshield to going onto my face so anyway you know I'm Filipino and also European <laughs> and you know what that combination is the combination is that we believe in superstition. Yes, I do. I do believe in superstition. So you shouldn't be talking about things like that when you're driving, right? So from then on, from 20 years ago, I stopped driving a small cars. I no longer drive the fast cars. I used to have fast cars. And now I drive big cars and I love, love, love my Range Rover. Yes, they are very, very expensive and they are very pricey. And, but you know what? I feel comfortable and I feel, I don't, I feel safer anyway, being in them. Uh, which is, of course, a contradictory to me being an environmentalist, right? Because being an environmentalist, you're not supposed to be driving these huge cars because they, um, they take, they use a lot of, of gas and, um, you know, that's basically what they do, particularly this big engine car. But so in that way, I'm a little, I'm a little, little, little 
bit of a hypocrite, you know, by driving this big car and yet I am so called an environmentalist. But you know what? That's where the hypocrisy ends because that's the only thing right now that I am so guilty of. The fact that I drive a huge car. Anyway, so with that said, that said, I try every possible way to be helpful in trying to preserve the environment or in my previous videos I discussed about um, composting I compost a lot uh, when I have um, when I clean my vegetables or fish I compost I save all um, you know all, all the, the, the rubbish and uh, put it in my plants so I don't use any chemical um, in uh, uh, chemical fertilizers in my plants at all or veggies so I try so very very hard to make sure that you know that all the rubbish that is biodegradable is basically um, uh, put in my compost pit so that's one way and uh, I reuse everything I reuse everything um, also one thing that I have done is the fact that I don't buy clothes anymore I basically buy new clothes I basically repurpose all of my old clothes and anything that's not usable, you know, I try to to send it to people who need them. So, you know, I don't have to impress anyone anymore. I, you know, by having clothes, new clothes all the time, new shoes, new pair of shoes, I don't have to um, um, impress anybody. And then also regarding with my winter coat. Okay, a lot of my winter coats, they are actually inherited. So I inherited all of these. Um, you know, um, the Sherpa, I inherited them. And they last forever. So now I don't have, I, I mean, I have no need to buy brand new ones. So I repurpose everything. Because I remember my Nana when I was growing up. We never had any rubbish, actually. You know, in um, in the country or in the province, we burn everything. Like, for example, we burn our rubbish. So there was really nothing that's come, that is all around us. I did not see any garbage at all because we burnt everything. And then after you burned it, okay, and you, you used the ashes, you, you 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 dig up a pit and they put the ashes there and then it will serve as um as fertilizer for uh, the crop now it's like you know being um not a parent i have no heir you know like i said when i'm when i'm gone i'm gone I don't have to worry about, you know, my off, oh, offs, <laughs> having difficult offsprings, um, you know, having to face, having to face this awful, you know, awful world that, you know, we are slowly um, uh, uh, killing. So I don't have to worry about that, you know, but I do care about the future generation. I shouldn't. But I, sh I shouldn't because like, you know, I, I should just be selfish. And I said, you know what, let me just, <laughs> let me just do what I can, you know, in this world. Because, you know, once that I'm gone, you know, there's nothing much. You know, I don't have to worry about anyone anymore, right? But not that, because I, I certainly worry about the next generation, about the future. Of the next generation I certainly worry about that I worry about I worry about the the earth dying you know look at me I'm wearing short sleeves I'm wearing slippers 
flip-flops, uh, mind you. Considering that it is October 21st, a few years ago, and even last year, I was wearing coat and, 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 and boots. But today is like, it's warm. It's pretty warm outside. You know, I don't need a jacket at all. I'm walking around my, with my slippers. Walking around with what shortly, uh, short sleeve on top. So anyhow, so that's how I noticed. And I have lived enough in this area where four seasons, um, uh, all, over half of my life. So gradually, like over the years, over the years, it has become warmer and warmer and warmer. Last year, for example, I didn't even see snow. I used to look forward to seeing the snow. But now it's like it did not snow last year. You know, it's like one moment it was the winter and the next moment, you know, it was basically it was not a spring. It was summer. So in a way, everybody said, Thank you for tuning in um, in this channel. And, uh, you know, I'm just out and about trying to get something to cook. And I will chat with you guys later. Please subscribe and share. I'm trying to reach a number of subscribers because I have a prize. I get a prize for my pack. You know, for those of you who don't know, who are new to this channel, I also do rescue. I rescue animals. Okay. Have a good day, everyone.